She stood next to the bed in her motel. She decided to look underneath the filthy mattress, and what she saw made her blood run cold. She felt her stomach twist into a knot as she examined it more closely. Clara noticed a flash of light from the room. Just then, she realized what it was. The light came from a camera. Someone was watching her. Clara Moore was a normal woman who lived in a small, quiet town just by Pennsylvania. She had a four-year-old son named Josh and would do anything to make sure his life was good. This single mother was devoted to her child but had no idea what was in store for her next. Clara knew all too well that being a single parent working full-time wasn't easy. She was a motel cleaner which was the perfect job since her hours were negotiable and she was paid well. But Clara would find something that she would never have expected. It would change things forever. For five years, Clara had been cleaning motel rooms. It wasn't the most glamorous job in the world, but it did well for her and her son. With all of her time working as a cleaner, she thought that nothing has gotten past her, that she'd seen everything. But one morning, she finds something in her room that she would never have expected. Just as the sun rose up, Clara gig got her son to a friend's house before going to work herself. Afterward, she stood waiting in the cold winter morning in her best winter jacket. Clara saw the bright beams of the bus as it got closer to her. Then she noticed something close to her at the bus stop. But what she saw, she couldn't believe it. On a big poster on the side of the bus stop was a poster. It read Woman Missing in bold font. Clara was intrigued, so she decided to take a closer look. The details of the poster said that the woman had been missing for nearly half a year. The missing woman was reported to be last seen with a large man that was armed and dangerous. It sent shivers down Clara's spine. Clara felt sympathy and sadness wash over her. She couldn't imagine what the family of the missing woman was going through. She was then distracting as the bus pulled up next to her. She completely forgot about the woman as she got on the bus. She would soon learn that she shouldn't have. Clara got to the motel to start her work for the day. She got her cleaning supplies and walked the long halls of the motel to get to the first room she was assigned. As she rounded the corner, she saw a large man checking out of a suite. She was scheduled to clean later. She felt something was wrong, but she couldn't put her finger on it. Clara knew she recognized him from somewhere. Was it the beard or the gigantic size of him? She couldn't remember, so she just passed him without giving it much thought. She took her supplies to her first room and started the cleaning process. She presumed that it would be another long, boring day at work, but she was very wrong. A few rooms cleaned later, and Clara's next room was the one she saw the familiar man check out of earlier. Just thinking of him still made her stomach flip. Who was he? Now that she was in the room, she noticed it was much larger than the others. This meant she'd have to spend more time giving it a deep clean. As soon as she set foot into the suite, a terrible smell lingered in the air. What had the person in here been eating? It smelled like rotting meat mixed with rotting cheese. Clara pulled up her cleaning cart and got out her wipes. She had no idea that something truly unimaginable was a mere few feet away. Clara got to work and started cleaning the suite, but she couldn't help but notice that the gross smell still lingered around. What could it be? She carried on cleaning, singing out loud to her favorite pop song. She thought she was all alone in the motel room, but unbeknownst to her, somebody was watching her every move. After finishing cleaning the bathroom, Clara headed over to the two large beds. Armed with a fresh pair of cotton-scented sheets, she was planning to strip the bed and replace it. She lifted the mattress to take the sheet off, and what she saw left her lost for words. Just as Clara let out a gasp at what she saw under the mattress, she noticed a flashing light coming from across the room. Then suddenly, Clara's heart stopped when she realized the light was from a camera. Somebody was watching her. Clara feels panic wash over. You see, not only was somebody watching Clara's every move, but what she found in the mattress was an envelope. What was it doing here? Slowly, while gripping onto the envelope, Clara made her way to the other side of the room and away from the flashing light. She wanted to run and leave the room, but she had to see what was inside the envelope. She opened it up, and what she saw changed her life forever. It was a cash tip, but it wasn't just a mere two-figure cash tip. It was a $500 tip. Clara couldn't believe she was holding $500 in her hands. What was going on? Hundreds of questions ran through her mind. Then suddenly, Clara heard a hard knock at the door. Slowly, Clara made her way to the door and peeked through the peephole. She gasped out when she saw it. It was the rugged guy from earlier. 
The same rugged guy who had been in this suite a mere few hours ago. What was going on? Clara opened the door and was greeted by the rugged man and a smile plastered on his face. He saw the cash in her hands and looked straight at Clara. We need to talk, he said. Without a second to waste, the rugged man barged inside the suite with Clara inside it and slammed the door shut. Clara could feel panic and fear wash over her. Who was this man? When did he want? Was he the one recording her? Nothing made sense anymore. The rugged man sat Clara down on the bed, ready to reveal the truth, but Clara wasn't prepared for it, not one bit. Turns out that this rugged man was the one that left the $500 tip, and he had left it specifically for Clara. He admired the work ethic and hard work cleaners and those in hospitality have. But was he the one recording her? The secret camera was also his. He wanted to catch the reaction of a hotel cleaning receiving a generous and incredible tip. When Clara was told the truth, she let out a sigh of relief before quickly hugging the rugged man and thanking him 20 times. This stranger truly had just made her year, let alone week.